Research into the ways that students learn to write has changed classroom instruction and design. Teaching styles and approaches, the needs of students and the principles of quality instruction are each considered. Through careful attention to and application of researchers' findings, teachers are able to optimise the literacy outcomes of their students. As in other areas of literacy, the teaching of writing has been subject to various fashions and has recently entered an era of greater balance and simultaneous consideration of various stakeholders' viewpoints and needs, as explained by McCluskey and Cox 2011. Primary school learning of writing was once done by copying the works of acknowledged writers and was considered a useful tool to teach or to reinforce basic skills of punctuation, grammar, spelling, vocabulary and handwriting. Later, teachers were encouraged to instead follow the child's lead and to provide support rather than leadership. The current thought encourages both explicit teaching of writing and the modelling and guiding of student efforts. Mastery of skills is now seen as critical to good writing but is not a replacement for creative efforts. Teachers explicitly teach the writing process and also supply guided and modelled writing lessons. Many lessons in skills takes place alongside writing endeavours to provide continued learning without usurping the development of children's authorship. Teachers create an environment that provides inspiration and exposure to a full range of expert writing in a variety of genres. And they give instruction in both genre-specific techniques and conventions and the opportunity to experiment across a range of writing possibilities. Multimodal literacy is understood as necessary not only for retaining relevance in education but to ensure students develop abilities needed in current and future contexts. Literacy is now integrated with instruction in all subject areas and subject specific terminology and approaches are provided across the gamut of learning. And so we see that literacy instruction is no longer the province of an isolated single delivery approach but is broad yet specific and integrated yet targeted. Writing, although originating with thoughts and ideas is executed in a physical context and by physical means, creating a responsibility for teachers to ensure necessary space, resources, manual skills and support is provided to ensure student success. Winch 2010. Teachers will ensure that the physical space in which students write is orderly, inspiring and provides a variety of materials. As fluency in vocabulary, spelling and handwriting are building blocks to all writing efforts, teachers will ensure that these are present or increasingly being acquired, Shiguri 2009. The necessities of good handwriting will be evident in students' physical world, including furniture selection and appropriate support and instruction for correct posture and grip, and technological skills where those are most appropriate. Additionally, particular care will be required to support students with additional challenges to participate in the physical part of writing tasks, Brown 2007. In the case of those with physical disabilities, this may involve special equipment, support staff, space or time, and is likely to be the subject of a team approach to facilitating the individual student's education, Department of Education and Training 2013. Teachers' planning and provisions for literacy ed teaching will be impacted by these considerations for each individual student, March 2010. When crafting a text, authors participate in a cyclical and varied series of intertwined tasks known as the writing process, Tompkins and colleagues, 2012. Pre-planning, drafting first and later copies, revising and preparation of text for publication through both editing and proofreading stages are all vital and recurring in the writing journey. Tompkins and colleagues, 2012, show that teachers support students by modelling both the spontaneous and creative nature of writing and the need to strive for improvements through the assiduous application of an array of strategies. Campbell and Riles, 2014, states that children will tend to write as they think without thought of planning or review. In recognition of the process nature of writing, teachers model and provide ample opportunity for students to develop their writing projects in a similar fashion, Winch 2010. Brown 2007 shows that the responses of teachers and others to student writing and the sense of community in the classroom will be pivotal to continued effort. Teachers recognise that just as text appears in many forms in students' natural environment and in the wider world, the text encountered and created in the classroom should similarly vary. Hill 2006. Teachers fill their classrooms with examples of print in many contexts, Tompkins et al. 2012. A critical part of the process is the final production of a finished product and experiencing the responses of their intended audience. Literacy is a multidimensional area of learning, complex in its development and requiring teachers to be fully informed and skilled in the eight principles outlined by Tompkins and colleagues, 2012. The first principle of effective teaching requires that teachers be cognizant of and able to appropriately apply the range of theories proposed by education researchers. Secondly, teachers understand, explicitly teach and facilitate students' engagement of different clues or cueing systems in their literacy endeavours. 
The third principle is concerned with the establishment of a fellowship and developing readers, writers, listeners and speakers. Fourthly, teaching find it necessary to adopt an integrated approach which fully acknowledges and employs a combination of strategies and uses for literacy. Students present with different levels of ability across the range of literacy skills and the incorporation of appropriate supports to ease students' literacy development is the fifth principle of effective literacy teaching. A sixth definer of high quality literacy instruction is ensuring student exposure, exploration and experience across the three strands of language, literature and literacy. Constant and integrated assessment and the application of obtained information is the seventh sign. The final guiding light for delivery of true literacy education is the establishment of a connection with, involvement of and reference to the family culture and environment of students. Teachers who wish to be powerful instigators of children's development in reading, writing, listening and speaking will need to incorporate strong and clear instances of all of these practices in their classrooms. Assessment and its application. Assessment is thoroughly integral to the teaching process. Macmillan, 2011. Although students will be subject to various national and school-wide assessments which inform instructional decision making, Tompkins and colleagues, 2012, show that the immediate and continuous nature of observation and reflection is of critical value to literacy instruction. Macmillan, 2011, talks about the snapshot nature of summative assessment as contrasting with the depth and width of the information gained from the formative types. Additionally, it is shown that prompt and relative feedback is most effective in improving student performance. Teachers have numerous opportunities to assess students' writing and give feedback in daily classroom activities. In the area of writing, Tompkins and colleagues, 2012, promote conferencing as one way for teachers to use formative assessment in an individual way to observe students' progress and to provide mini lessons on appropriate topics. As it is important that, at first draft stage, students should engage in writing without undue pressure upon items such as spelling and handwriting, teachers will keep focus on these to a minimum in initial conferences and instead spotlight the overall content, style and authenticity of student work. Further to this is the idea of student self-assessment as promoted by Brown 2007. As students consider their own work, goals and progress towards these, they are able to better focus their attention and take greater ownership of their future efforts. These may be encouraged through work such as Dolinsky's learning goals to which her students are encouraged. Additionally, during the writing process, students may be encouraged to consider lists such as Dolinsky's 2014 Ways of Writing Brilliantly, which may be displayed in class for students to use as checklists and inspiration for possible improvements to their writing. Provision of a classroom environment which encourages students to form a writing community contributes strongly to student success. And so in my classroom, I anticipate students will require spaces in which they can write, such as a writing station, which is both practical and inspirational and includes writing materials including different implements and possibilities for different presentation outcomes. As collaboration efforts and influences are important to learning and to the writing process students will need to be able to engage in conference and group work so areas conducive to that will be provided in my acknowledgement of the many different uses and means of written expression in the student's environment is crucial to maintaining relevance and engagement. Additionally, some students may have limited exposure to the wider range of print. For these reasons, my classroom will feature displays of many different styles of writing taken from a variety of contexts. Students need to engage a range of text styles and my classroom library will carry a diversity of materials to broaden students' tastes in literature and inspire budding authors. Modelled and shared writing are an important part of teaching writing in the classroom. These will be facilitated in my classroom in less formal settings where student and teacher may gather to discuss. There are many components to good quality writing and I envisage that a range of displays will support students' expanding retinue of the resources such as idioms, similes, metaphors, subject-specific vocabulary, homophones and high-frequency words. Writing is a process including different stages. Teachers need to encourage students to engage in each of these and so I will have graphic reminders of these in my classroom. Self-reflection is an important contributor to developing quality writing, so guidelines or encouragements to follow will be helpful in scaffolding in this process. My classroom will feature a variety of these types of resources. Conclusion A literacy learning environment that is based upon best practice as identified by expert investigations advantages the teachers as they target improving the authorship abilities of their students. Teachers will implement improvements in their professional aptitudes, 
general pedagogical knowledge and subject specific pedagogies. Similarly, they will analyse the strengths and weaknesses of the physical environment and their students' learning needs to remove barriers and support students. This rounded approach will be integral to a nurturing and supportive classroom writing community.